Well, can you tell me a little bit more about your father's factory? Sure. Who worked there? Uh, well, they, uh, it was a mixed uh, ethnic workforce, uh, and they were segregated by occupation. Uh, first of all, um, uh, cars are made uh, differently now, uh, but what they manufactured, among other things, were scuff plates. That's where you enter a car, and they use now plastic, and they don't use metal strips anymore. But they made these by the tens of millions. Um, there was a nameplate called Body by Fisher uh, that was used as a logo for General Motors. So, I don't know, 50, 60 million of them they produced over time. Uh, they uh, made uh, parts of the steering wheel, the horn button, uh, the uh, uh, instrument panel. Uh, there were a great deal of, uh, of these things that they made. So the workforce, uh, there were die makers, the ones who made the dies for the large stamping machines to make the scuff plates and other things, and that was German-Americans. Um, uh, the Italian Americans uh, were in the shipping department. Uh, the few Anglo Saxons around uh, were in the carpentry division, which made uh, repairs and uh, built things. Uh, the um, process in which you chemically engrave on metals called etching, there were a lot of uh, Jews, and, and some of them originally from Hungary. Uh, they also made things like beer trays, where there was a lot of uh, lithography involved, and uh, there were Armenians there, and so it went. So it was a very much of uh, an ethnic mi mixture, but without people of Hispanic background and uh, very few African Americans. Do you remember visiting ever? Oh yes, I, I, I went there very uh, frequently and was, was much intrigued by the process. And of, of course, um, I, I uh, was characterized as the son of one of the bosses. So, uh, you know, I wandered around. Sometimes people wandered with me to keep me out of trouble. And uh, I was very much fascinated by, by that and by the chemistry. I ended up initially majoring in chemistry at college. 